Hey everyone. So yesterday Articulate released um, emphasis animations for um, Articulate Storyline 360 and you can use emphasis animations for a variety of things, um, namely to emphasize content or objects. Um, when I'm just kind of thinking about it, I, I think it could be really handy for hints. Um, so if you were creating some sort of like escape room interaction, you could use uh, object uh, emphasis animations or sh shape animations over top of various um, elements that you want the learner to look at. Now, I just created a really quick example where I want the user to select an avatar to continue um, and that avatar is going to be carried through the training. And so what I did was I added my three characters, I made them a button set so only one is selectable at a time, and then I added emphasis animation so that when the user hovers over any of these characters, they grow in size and, and emphasize. So let's look at that here and then we'll talk about how we how we made it. So if I hover over each of the characters, they are going to grow in size. And so that's just a neat little effect that can kind of add a bit more uh, visual appeal to your interactions. So let's close that and I'm going to, uh, first we'll copy this and then I'll show you how emphasis animations work. So. Here we have a shape. If I go into animations, you'll now see that there's add emphasis animations. And so when you click into that, you can choose whether they pulse, shake, grow, shrink, or teeter. And you can have multiple emphasis animations um, for any given object. So if I choose one of these, what you'll notice is first we have a trigger that's been generated um, to, it's an emphasize trigger. And then you'll also notice that there's effect options, so you can um, control whether you want low, medium, high amount of that emphasis. So I'm going to delete that and I'll show you how we built um, the grow animation for these three characters. So I've got my three characters here. I have them fading in um, so that they're not all just there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one, add emphasis animation and grow. And then all I have to do here is change the default trigger of user clicks to mouse hovers over. And that's all I had to do. So I'm going to copy that trigger and apply it to all of my characters. All right, and so now, like that was super fast, super quick and easy. Now, when we hover over our characters, they grow. So very cool. I'm excited to see how everyone uses emphasis animations because I think that they can be used in a lot of different formats. I also think that um, individuals who were previously using um, markers to get those emphasis, uh, the emphasis animation. So for example, if we add this marker here, you'll see that uh, there's a pulse or swirl. And so that um, was one way of getting an emphasis animation. You could kind of use that and, and modify it, or people were using states. So very cool, very interested to see what everyone comes up with.